They rolled out the red carpet literally for Ryan Strashnitsky. Ryan was invited by an expat hockey league to drop the game puck. I just can't say enough about this guy's courage. I mean, we all get hung up on our little everyday problems and just to see the stuff that this kid is going through and the way that he's dealing with his adversity, it was an inspiration to all of us here. Ryan arrived in Thailand a month ago to have an epidural stimulator implanted above his spinal cord injury. The device is sending electrical impulses down Ryan's nerve pathways that are preserved but dormant. I mean, right away, uh, as soon as the surgery was done and I was able to do physio, um, they started moving my legs right away and you know, from there it's just hard work. I've noticed anything below my chest that was paralyzed before is able to be controlled through the uh, electrical stimulator and you know, everything's starting to work again. This procedure is not yet approved in Canada for specific treatment of spinal cord injury, although it's been used for pain management for decades. There's still much research to be done, but Barry Monroe of the Canadian Spinal Research Organization expects it will play an important role. We're going to see a combination of therapies that will help people um, with spinal cord injury and get some kind of curative, what I call, you know, restoration of function. And that would be a combination of epidural stimulation, combination of stem cells injections, as well as what they call activity-based training. With just a week left in their time in Thailand, Ryan's dad concedes it has been a roller coaster for his son. But uh, I just tell him it's whether you're walking or not, you're going to have ups and downs. So make make the day a new day and let's uh, see what happens and go through it and fight through it and work through it. Next week, Ryan and his medical team will put his pair of hockey sled on the ice of this very rink. Carolyn Dunn, CBC News, Calgary.